Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover. Uh, then I'll take you for driving it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Usual rules apply on Range Rovers. You're not allowed to buy this for a few weeks. Um, I'm using it at the moment, so uh, give us a couple of weeks at least, please. It's a Range Rover Sport 3 litre SD V6 HSE, and it's the black edition. It's a 2013 on a 13 plate. It's done 39,358 miles. Fuel economy, urban 34 miles per gallon, extra urban 42.2 miles per gallon, and combined is 38.7 miles per gallon, which is really good out, out of a vehicle this size. 0 to 60 miles an hour, 8.7 seconds, top speed of 124 miles per hour out of a 254 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £305.25 and 12 months is £555. Not bad for being able to drive around in complete safety and uh, luxury and comfort too. Yeah, you may think I was joking about uh, not buying it for a couple of weeks, but I wasn't. We, we got a Stornoway Grey vehicle in a couple of weeks ago and I videoed it and it went the same morning that the video came out. Um, I have been putting this off to, uh, to video so as I could use it longer. And it, it's quite funny really, because the, the garage that we bought it off, um, they took pity on it, us as well. And, and they knocked 500 pounds off it because I, I wanted a car to use myself. So that's a good thing, because it comes to you 500 pounds cheaper as well. We, we, <laughs> you may not believe it, but we're not greedy. We, we just want to sell cars and, and and, and that's it. I'll just show you around it. We've got the usual Range Rover um, standard equipment anyway. Xenons, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, great ground clearance in these proper four wheel drives. Um, I've, I've shot a couple of BMWs the, these last uh, couple of weeks. In the Range Rover brochure, they tell you how much water and everything you can wade through, uh, and it's 27 inches, I think, which, which is, it's you can go through water up, up to about there. I wouldn't recommend it all the time, but in emergencies, you can do. I looked for the same um, figures and statistics in the BMW and the Mercedes uh, brochure. The GLC I was using a couple of weeks ago, you, you can go through a, a thought which uh, is neither here nor there. So anyway, proper four-wheel drives, fantastic cars. Uh, I absolutely love them to bits. Wouldn't drive anything else by choice, really. Um, it has the five-spoke diamond cut and gloss black alloys. We've just had these refurbed, balanced. It, it's got Pirelli Scorpion Zero tyres all around and they're all in really, really good condition. So plenty of wear left on them. Powerful new door mirrors. We've also got, as long as you've got the key on you, you've got keyless lock. And keyless entry. Got the sill protectors there, the plastic sill protectors. This car has got the um, electric glass sliding sunroof as well with the shade band inside. Got remote boot release. Uh, that's all the stuff I carry around, camera cases and so on, and uh, big coats, usual thing I need for filming. So there is plenty of room. It, although it looks packed in there, there's, there's plenty of room. Um, the rear seats fold 60 40, they're quite easy to do as well. Um, this, 12 volt power sockets in the back. It's, it's just got everything you need. It's a, it's a pretty low uh, loading area. There's a hard plastic cover on the bumper so you don't scuff the bumper loading stuff in or you, you know your dog's jumping in and out. Reversing sensors in the back bumper there. Power close. Just in the back there, you've got a rear view camera. So as soon as you put it in reverse, the sat nav monitor changes into a, a reversing screen. You can see where you're going. Your near side door mirror flips down so you can see the curb and you don't scratch the alloy wheels that we've just paid 
600 quid to have refurbished. Um, it, it's car's just lovely. Um, if you've never driven a Range Rover, you, you really need to because you'd never want to drive anything else. That's my uh, traffic cam there. <laughs> Um, it's uh, obviously just registered that I slammed the door and, and think there's there's an impact. So it, um, it, it saves the file. Right, <laughs> if you're an adult and you get in the back of a Range Rover, they're not very comfortable. The headrest right in, in the middle of your back. But once you knock, oh dear, they're so comfortable. Once you knock the headrest up, uh, I, my, my seat's a long way back there. It wouldn't, most, Drivers won't have the seat there, so there's plenty of legroom, nice and comfortable. It's the usual thing with, uh, it's it's, although it's a five seater, it's it's a four seater, uh, or four people in comfort, and it's got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points, um, absolutely lovely. This vehicle is actually dirtier than when it came in because I've been using it for uh, a, a week or two. So Lance hasn't cleaned it, hasn't been anywhere near it, but it was very, very nice when it came in. And as, as soon as Lance gives it the treatment, it, it'll be absolutely light new inside. It's, it's lovely. I'll just take you for riding it. The uh, little Range Rover keys there. It's keyless entry, keyless go. That doesn't come with the car, by the way. That's my uh, dash cam. Here we go. We've got high pressure headlamp wash. There we go. Knock them off. And uh, three position memory seats, electric memory seats, uh, control the steering wheel and also your, your door mirrors. Uh, if I just juggle these about now, let's see, just do that and down, and pull that in, then we'll move in with the seat and back like so, and then I press memory one. There you go, steering wheel, mirrors, seat go back to exactly where I want it. It's got the rotary gear uh, selector which I uh, I like and uh, as you can see we're on a really narrow road. It's got a brilliant turning circle and we've also got reversing cameras as well as reverse uh, sorry front and rear parking sensors. So there you go dead easy to drive, dead easy to turn around and away we go. Very very comfortable driving position, actually just move that down and we'll just reset that because that wasn't quite where I had it or that wasn't quite where I, I like to drive with it. So automatic, you've got, you can click if you're down there and into sport it uh, sharpens the throttle response. We've got our terrain response here, so you can and you can put the suspension up and down. If you're going over anything high, I think it's 8.7 inches ground clearance to start off with. It's uh, paddle shift on the steering wheel here. We've got sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. just actually moved some stuff in the glove box there and it's rattling about a bit. It's also got, um, oops, could have got away then. If that guy in the Audi had indicated, but we all know they don't do that. Great handling in Range Rovers. Give it some gas now.
nice and smooth. As I say, we've just had the wheels done. Um, the people that do our wheels, the diamond rims at uh, Blackburn, they always check, make sure they're straight, because there's so many potholes on the road these days and so many speed bumps. You'd be amazed how many vehicles come in with um, buckled alloys. So I can tell you that these are first class on the, the Range Rover. The tyres are great. It's beautiful to drive. Uh, it's my weekend off this weekend and I'm looking forward to uh, going out in it. So sat nav there, there's the nav button. You have to agree that you're not going to get distracted by it. And then uh, I'll show you how to set the nav after. We've also got um, audio streaming. So if I go to audio oh, there, I'll down. just turn that down. What rubbish they play these days. What on earth was that? It sounded like somebody shouting random words to a tune they'd never heard before. So there we go. You've got my music. If we click to my music, and also at the moment it's come up uh, on my iPhone. So I'll just turn that up. It's playing music off my iPhone. It's a great speaker system if you like music. I think they're hardened gardens in this one. Recording. File protected. Again, that's that's a dash cam. It uh, it saves it when you're breaking suddenly or anything like that. It uh, saves the file and feels the need to tell you every time. Um, so we've also got power folding door mirrors here. That's uh, nice and handy. The electric sunroof. There you go. We'll go set off. The electric Sunday. Sunday. The electric sunroof is more handy really for letting light into the car. This is my favourite colour combination really. Black with black. Um, but uh, it has got a light headlining and the sunroof lets more light in so it, it's not, not too dark. Oh, it's, I just remembered I've, uh, I, I unplugged the cigarette charger out of, out of here for this. turn of speed for the size of the car is amazing, it's so comfortable. On the multifunction steering wheel here we've got cruise control on the left, your audio and telephone controls here. Right, what I will do, if nobody tells on me, is just plug that in. There we go. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't get any more notifications. So three position electric memory seats. They, I, I don't, I, we've sold so many Range Rovers. Um, touch wood, don't have any problems with them. Otherwise we wouldn't sell them. And it, it gets quite hard to, to think of new things to say. And with all the hoo-ha at the moment with Greta, whatever her name is, and saving the planet. It just makes me wonder. Um, electric cars. Young kids are mining the cobalt for them. They're not really that eco-friendly with the batteries. And you get stuff like this that lasts forever. Needs maintaining like anything else. Parts replacing, sure. But the, the engineering involved to get this vehicle moving down the motorway with five people in at 70 miles an hour in comfort 
is unbelievable where electric cars there's a couple of magnets a couple of wires and that's it but in the future fixing them I think will be virtually impossible and it'll just be a matter of throwing everything away and putting a new one on or at least with some, something like this you can repair it so and I've got to be honest I, I would rather drive around in this than an electric car any day I watched Top Gear last week and there was the uh, was it an Audi e-tron or it's some electric car they've, they've built to get the speed record and it just it was going very very fast and it it made a noise like that that would drive me mad <laughs> I just love driving these cars, they're just so good. You can see above everybody on the motorway, you feel so safe. Worst comes to worst and you're in an accident, you're way above everybody. They're gonna hit you down there, the, the main damage is gonna be down there somewhere. Your legs are above it, your body's above it. And uh, The, the best thing to put your family in, I would say. I should have just actually uh, cruise control there. I should know by now how fast. change up on the right hand side there, change down on the left. We've also got that uh, panel that you can slide across. Quiet as anything. lovely black leather with a contrast stitching nice dashboard again lovely finish we've got glove box at the bottom there that's what's rattling in there and you've also got a glove box at the top there in there there's some headphones presumably for the audio system in the back you've also got TV let's just put TV on there there you go TV whatever whatever is on that It. Nice to have an accident there. Just using the paddle shift at the moment. It'd be really good if this chap would just shift. Hopefully he's not going our way. But usually when I say that, they do. As I said before, if you've never driven a Range Rover, you should. Because they're, they're just... Um, you kind of don't, don't have to think. And it's, it's something that when I've got outside my house, I know that um, whatever happens, it doesn't matter. My, uh, my girlfriend lives in a, an area of Preston that, that gets flooded quite often. And um, I, I know it, 
it's never going to get to, well, touch wood, it's never going to get to two foot, often about six inches or, or so. And you just go in the Range Rover and, you know, just no problem. Sorry, I'll just actually just test. Two tons plus, two tons of fun. The heated seats here. You flip the boot up from the switch, the electric boot release. Just uh, absolutely lovely. It's going too fast there. Very, very bumpy road. Just what the Range Rover was made for. Got the rev counter on the left, instrument, uh, sorry, information display in the centre. And uh, on the right hand side, your speedo. I'll finish the test drive there anyway, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav, delete a mobile, pair a mobile and stream audio and uh, the, the TVs come on there. So uh, thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.